Hello. Today I'm getting what these humans call a chaka. They are weeny. They are looking at my eyes. And they're checking to see if my bones are healthy. Where am I? Well, it's called a zoo. John Paul Zoo, to be exact. And I have lived here for what seems like forever. My whole life, really. Because of all the dangers to me and my brothers and sisters, humans brought me here at the zoo. Who am I? Oh, I'm a box turtle. Some of these humans find it hard to tell me apart from the rest of my brothers and sisters, but not for me. Just look at my cool shell. My shell isn't just a home; it is also what makes me unique. Not one of us had the same shell pattern, and our shells are different from my mom's and papa's shells. Some say the home is where the heart is. For me, my shell is my home, and luckily, I bring my home with me wherever I go. You could call it a mobile home. But I didn't always live here at the zoo. Once upon a time, I was born in the sand. Actually, in a sand quarry. Here's my mama. Look, and there's me. This is my baby book. Mama dug a little room for all of us to stay warm. She covered us with a little blanket of soil. Ah! Uh, until it was time to hatch. Here's me, still half in my shell. I was so little. To break out of my shell, I started life with a tooth. These were my first steps in life. Look, here's my brother and me. My brother really did not want to leave his shell. Mama laid many eggs, so I have many brothers and sisters. All of us is the same birthday. Shortly after leaving our shells, we were all put in a box and brought to the zoo. I don't remember much about the place we were born. Grandmother Tull said long ago there were forests as far as I could see. Then loud noises came, and the trees disappeared. And other smaller plants sprouted. Eventually, the strange noises stopped. And the tree started growing again. Now there are forests again, but not everywhere. That was all before my time. Grandmother Tull said we still have to be careful around hard ground. And fast-moving things with hard bodies, like a shell. 
and scary animals that like to dig in the ground for our eggs. With long fingers and big sharp teeth. Yikes! Which brings us to today. We are told we get to go home today. We have gone big and strong at the zoo. So big and strong that we are going back to our forest and sanctuary. The one we were born in. The humans say that I will have a better chance of surviving now. I am so excited to explore it. They even gave me new jewelry to remember them. They call it a radio transmitter and tell me it will help them visit me after I go home. They attached it directly to my shell so I won't lose it. Grandmother Turtle has told me so many great stories about the big, wide world. I wonder what stories I will tell my grand turtles. What will my future be? Will you help? Help turtles cross the road. Restore total habitat. Please don't take me from my home. Support total research. Thank you. See you on the forest. Bye.